So my name is uh, Jo. I'm currently running a design company. One of our projects is uh, Action for Long Tham. We want to support 400 members of um, textile cooperative in Hazan. So in my previous project, the approach is very simple. I bring a group of architects to the lab, to the space. We um, we measure the land and we draw something, and then we build it up. But later on, um, we realize that uh, things got different. You know, people get um, uh, detached because they don't have an ownership. And also in terms of materials, we use something light and very modern in the cities, and it's very difficult for them to use it and to fix it. So uh, I think there must be some a different way how we can work and how we can make them have more of ownership and responsibilities for their own space, because um, um, otherwise they will keep depending on other people to fixing their own problems. I know Alex and Suda way before I officially established my company. So when Alex proposed his uh, collaborative design, I think it's, uh, it's a new method. I remember he saying to me that uh, there was two ways to do a project. One is you build constructions. You want people to hosting activities there. Uh, two is you hosting activities so people can join to build that. And somehow that can make people have a sense of belonging and they will be able to maintain their relationship with their own property. So I think it's a good um, thinking and that's why I want to try out the method with the cooperative. So the indigenous group that we were sub supporting were called Hmong people. They have a very um, strong root of cultures. So we talk to the villagers and they are very welcoming because Alex also want to feel if the community is appropriate and if they can adopt to this um, method. In our very first day, mostly people still, still work in a very hierarchy way, like, you know, the leaders talk and the other listens. This is exactly what our process is trying to address, is to kind of create that space where the community are able to speak up honestly. And uh, contribute with something that really matters to them. Things is, was developed eventually small step, step by step. When we observe the teams, we, we see that there are people who are often silent at first. Eventually, they got the chance to raise one or two ideas. And, you know, when the idea is being included, I feel they delighted. Okay. Do you want to make the line? Okay, so yeah. So the first workshop was mostly about uh, discussing uh, the current facilities and um, what they feel like and dislike about it. And because uh, language is a barrier, and also we want to make people have chance and space to, uh, to contribute their ideas, we didn't use the verbal language, we want them to draw. 
Tức là cả bốn gian là đều đều có gác à? Closet. 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 This is. Có một cái phòng dàn cửa đấy. Oh, okay. Big house. <cười> Big house. We found a lot of different things, and even the villagers discover something they don't know before because the elders never have the chance to talk to the younger, or the younger never to have the chance to ask the elders about things around them. Ừ. Em thích nhất là cái hoa văn này vì cái hoa văn này tượng trưng cho đồi nối và ừ. <cười> đồi nối xã lần 8 À, thế em cho chị biết đâu là đồi nhá đâu? Đây, đây là chỗ à, đồi Mountains, right? We have mountains here Quanh, Vì đây là cái hội gia đình mà gần gũi với nhau thì... À, văn hồ, một ý tưởng rất là hay <cười> Even though they make beautiful products, we get to know that they have never had a chance to draw before. So they feel awkward holding a pen and, and they don't know where to start on the papers. So even small details like that um, give us a hint about how the information is being processed and being perceived in this, uh, in this um, communities. So it's a workshop, but it's a process of, under, of finding a way to understand each other. Um, in reflection, in drawings, and in making things. And what we make is everything from uh, drawings to models to paintings to make something that really belongs to Long Town, but very much using what matters to them, the materials they have and the knowledge they, they already have available. What we really wanted to try to do with this trip would be to really build the relationship between us and the local workers who know how to build and to absorb sort of the local knowledge that they have in terms of what materials can be used, what methods can be used and sort of the intricacies of actually getting something built. Yeah. <laughs> So the reason why we're now measuring the existing cooperative is because we want uh, all of the members of the cooperative to understand what we have already. So actually you are now at the stage where we need to execute on the ground floor. They keep things in mind that a construction where they get involved and in building their own cooperative where every details it designed by them and owned by the idea like just a window where they can draw something on themselves and tell to their children like hey your mom or your dad draw this window before on this cooperative. So um, the main goal here would be to really build something complete, which can serve as sort of an example of what can be done with um, the partnership between um, our team and the community, the local community. I think they like it a lot, especially where the younger generation can talk with the elder generation about how we can create this space. And, and they have more fun talking about the futures, what they're going to do there and how, what kind of activities they can, um, you know, exchange, what kind of song and the imagines, the vision about the future is always excite people. I think they enjoy having their ideas in that future scenario that they have in mind. <laughs>